How you guys doing today? All right, we're at another investment property. This is a big, big vacant house. Junker property, all right? You know what I mean, junkers? Junkers mean they need to be rehab. They need some work. Serious, serious, major work, okay? So it kind of depends on you guys. Got to keep an open mind out here, okay? Uh, the address of this property is at 3634 Wayne. There's 36. 34 Wayne Avenue in Midtown, Kansas City, Missouri. That's Midtown, Kansas City, Missouri. All right. It is a five bedroom, one bath house, huge house. Does need some serious, serious major work. Okay. Need it roughly about 40,000, maybe in minimum of work, and maybe 70, 80,000 if you want to go to beautiful homes and gardens route. Okay. All right. This is a pretty old house. Uh, it's made in the very early 1900s. Okay, I say roughly around 1919, uh, 1920 area, somewhere around there. Um, that's when this house was built. Um, I don't have the specifics, you know, on the exact date, you know, but, but anyway, it's a pretty huge house. It's sold as is. Okay, um, if you want uh, more questions about the property and the asking price, give me a call. Area code 816-606-0505. That's area code 816-606-0505. I want to welcome all my people from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Craigslist. Some of my people from my bandit signs that you saw seen in the street. Some of my advertisements online and offline on the internet. And some of you guys that's been referred. I want to welcome all my rehabbers, my buy and hold investors. You know, my investors that like to buy these properties, fix them up, hold on to them, and rent them out. And then also some of my flippers also too. And rent to own slash owner finance guys yes you guys know what to do with these properties but anyway this isn't your first rodeo with me so i'm gonna go ahead and make this brief you know so if you guys got any questions give me a call area code 816-606-0505 it's called area code 816-606-0505 all right remember i want you guys after i show this i want you to like this i want you to comment if you guys not interested or whatever, just toss this over to somebody else. You never know. What you don't want, somebody else do. You understand? All right. So we're going to take a look on the outside. Let's get a tour of the block. Okay, this is Wayne. It's a one-way street. You guys probably seen these houses over here. Some of these houses over here are personally uh, been built by uh, Habitat. For humanity they were upbringing on this block okay now i want you to look on this side of the house that i'm showing you guys right here i'm about to go back around this side of the house comes with a bonus lot let's look at this lot over here see that lot over here i'm kind of zoom in that's a bonus lot okay it's about a quarter acre wide but i'll get back to it when i tour all over it okay i'm gonna try to break this br brief and quick if i can you know i want to try to get done with this hopefully under 20 minutes okay all right and see the driveway right there remember this is a super huge house okay so you got it's got plenty of room you could park almost 10 cars in the back okay you guys ready all right now let's go ahead and start proceeding to the front remember we're going to start from the outside and work our way on the inside you know just like i did with any other my other properties you guys seen on youtube okay okay all right here we go all right, that's a lot over there. And remember, it's about a quarter of not not all of that lot over there, right? Not all this land belongs to that property, but about a quarter of it belongs to this property. Okay, that's a pretty nice amount over there. That dip over there, after the end of that dip, is probably where it ends it. Okay, okay. And here's the front. Let's come over this part of the yard. And let's take a look over here at the driveway. Okay, so here's the driveway. Called narrow driveway. Okay, leading into the backyard. Here's the side of the house. Okay, all right, I'm gonna start coming in on this side now. All right, and I'm gonna try to do the best I can and kind of give you guys the under layout and of the roof. Remember, you contractors might have to send you guys out here, kind of take a look at the roof, but the roof looks very stable. From what I looked at, I'm gonna kind of 
angle the camera device over here so you can guys kind of see it so the sun won't glaze now see how big this backyard is look at this plenty of room you can park plenty of cars back here barbecues for days see the gutter ring falling off okay And remember, you guys got any questions, hit me up. Cash buyers only. Area code 816-606-0505. That's area code 816-606-0505. Just ask for Mr. Gigi. Remember, we're looking for cash buyers only. No partial payments. No rent to own. No, this property is not for rent. This is for sale. S-A-L-E. No R-E-N-T. That is right. Okay, boom. Let's go ahead and proceed on to the other part of the backyard. Go ahead and go as far as I can to the back. You guys see a lot of junk trash and different types of things back here. And remember, you guys could build a privacy fence back here once you get some landscapers out here to cut all this down back here. Okay, still the side of the house, you guys, to the backyard. Remember, the address of this is 3634 Wayne. There's 3634 Wayne Avenue, Kansas City, Missouri. It's in Midtown. It's near Armor and Purcell Boulevard. Armor and Purcell Boulevard. Okay, still in the backyard see all these weeds and trees you guys so landscapers contractors rehabbers flippers buy and hold guys you know what you're doing okay now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to zoom the camera in as much as I can of the roof how's that roof look roof's not too bad is it from the back of it okay from the back of it okay that's the roof and you guys see it does need some gutters up there okay all right, zooming back in, and then there's a tree sitting right here. Okay. Oh. All right, great, cool. All right, so we go back over here. All these trees and stuff over here. Boom. Okay, here's the back of this deal. This is the back door that leads down to the basement here. As you guys can see. And we come over here, see all these branches and stuff. Okay, and then here, this is one of the back doors, at least the back door. We got it all boarded up now. And let me guys tell you something about the boards up here, okay? All right, see all the gutters and stuff? You know, I got to show you guys all the good, the bad, the ugly, or whatever, okay? All right, give you guys local investors and long distance investors just a good general idea of how this looks. You know, so in just in case you guys don't want to fly all the way out here to Kansas City, you guys can make a pretty better decision on this. Okay, cool. All right, so hopefully this is helping. Okay, great, cool. And then here's the bonus light I was talking about. All this land here. Now I'm going to come all the way to the side of the house from the bonus light. Okay, here's the side of the house so you guys can see the side of the house. All types of trees and stuff in the way okay great cool let me go ahead and come on over here and this is about where the lot stops at okay let me show you guys this is a good chunk of land you can do something with it okay you see this right here see this right here okay this is a stopping point you see all this extra land over here this is vacant this is belonging to the city or someone else but here you see all those trees right there okay that's the property right here Okay, see this extra land right here? There's a vehicle right there. And then there's the trees, but this is like probably about the stopping point. Like I said, it's about a quarter acre wide, give or take, okay? Quarter acre wide, maybe half acre, give or take. Okay, some nice chunk of land. You build a tree house for the kids, put your garden around there. Heck, build your guest house, whatever you wanna do. But this is a bonus lot added on to it, okay? Okay. So hopefully this helps out a little bit, give you guys a good general idea of what's available and what isn't, okay? Alright, hopefully you can kind of see the roof from here, 
the front of it, branches and stuff on it, you know. Okay. Now, we're about to go ahead and head in the inside. Now, let me tell you a little bit more background about this thing. Now, this house did suffer from a fire damage. Yes, it did. It did suffer from a fire damage. Not a major fire. It was a brief fire. So, uh, it's been sitting vacant roughly, I would say, about a year, give or take. You know, so about a year and a month, something, or whatever, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and proceed to the porch, and then we're going to get in the inside, okay? Here's the door. Here's the porch. Lots of potential, you guys. Lots of potential. Put one of those, you know, old rocking chairs out here or swing sets you guys know what i'm talking about you guys are old school some of the younger people watching this probably got a general idea you know sit back on there put one of them rocking chairs right here <laughs> okay all right here we go right, boom. okay here we go so that's the porch you see guys see the windows all right, let's go in here. Okay, there were five bedroom, one bath, okay? Five bedroom, one bath, okay? All right, all right, here's the damage in here. Okay, this one the living rooms, fireplace. There's the floor. Ceiling. You guys getting a general idea of what you're getting yourself into. Okay, let's go. Windows are boarded up. So that's the living room. Here's the dining room area. Okay. So the wall. This needs to be gutted, okay? Probably good gut would help out to this house, okay? Remember, it had an old boiler system in this place also, too. Okay. See the ceiling? It's just giving you guys a good general idea how this looks, okay? And that leads into the kitchen. All right, and here's one of our main piping systems, as you can see, for the plumbing. Okay. And you guys see over here in the corner, right? This is where some of the fire had occurred at over here in this corner, but it occurred on the outside. But as I get further downstairs in the basement, give you guys a good idea how the foundation looks today. Okay. Kitchen. I remember I apologize that it's so dark. Okay. Here's the back door. Build a little pantry back here if you want to. There's the back door right here, as you, as you guys can probably see it. All right, cool. You gotta see the sink, cabinets, things like that. Gotta whip out a flashlight, kind of help just pinch. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, you guys see the ceiling in here. Look at the ceiling. And then here's the floor. It's pretty big, pretty big house. Now here is the one bedroom. Okay, now in my opinion, like I said, this is a five bed, one bath. In my opinion, what I do is I turn this here into a bathroom. Here's a closet here. I had like a whole another full bath and a half in here. And then it'll convert into like a four bedroom, two and a half bath. You guys might want to just add another bathroom just in case, you know, for one. But me, I'd add probably another bath, full bath and a half. You know, it's a big house, you understand? You guys are going to see in a little bit the other bedrooms. And it's going to all kind of come together and make sense for you guys, you know. Radiators. Okay, great, cool. So we've seen the ceilings. We've got the floor. Oh, radiators. Remember I told you there was an old boiler system in here. Okay. And then this leads back to the front door. Okay. Now this is to the upstairs. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the basement. So you guys can see the foundation. Let you guys know that I am not joking or playing games. This foundation is really good. Now remember, since there was a old boiler system here, you probably have a general idea that there is a little bit of asbestos still here. Okay. All right, here's our foundation on the walls. This is a very, very sturdy foundation. And the contractors who were here, they actually tuck pointed this thing. Hopefully that helps you guys. I'm doing the best I can to show you guys this wall foundation. Okay. It is dark down here, so please, 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 cash buyers, investors, bear with me. Okay. Here's our wa water line here. All right. I may not get out of this under 20 minutes on here so because it's a pretty big house okay this is where a window used to be at and this is where some of the fire damage was at okay all right you can look at seeing some of those studs got affected from the fire up there and those were some pretty thick studs as you guys can see they're pretty thick they're still holding on but yeah okay okay and then i'm gonna show you guys you know some of the asbestos that i've seen in here it's not as much though it's very very little very very little see that up there that's asbestos up there still the wall i'm just showing you guys this wall so you guys can see there's no wall caving in as far as foundation concerned that's the biggest one of the biggest selling points and attractive points to a lot of the, you guys, cash buyers and investors. And then, okay, there's no asbestos up here. Remember, we're in the basement, you guys, okay? And then here's the boiler system. Remember I told you about this boiler? This boiler was built like way, way back in like 19, I want to say 1921, give or take, give or take, okay? Old school, serious, serious old school boilers, okay? Okay, see how big that baby is? Yeah, you just got to take it out piece by piece to get it on out of here. Okay. And then here's a little room over here. There's a door. Make that a little pantry out here. Okay. And a 
little light switch there. Hopefully this is helping you guys. Man, it's so dark down here. Next, washer and dryer hookup. And then over here, here's the panel box. Panel box is in great condition. Only downfall about it, look. This is where some of the wires got burnt at, you guys. So yeah, that definitely needs to be repaired. That one definitely needs to be repaired, you know. Either you can snatch it all out or snatch out part of it, you know. I've been doing electrical for quite some time, so you can snatch it all out, put it all new in or whatever. But the biggest thing is this panel box is still in great condition. Look at those wires, man. Look at that Romex up there. Yeah, I've been doing heating and AC, electrical and plumbing and refrigeration for quite some time, but I'm not doing that stuff no more. But look at that Romex, y'all. Yeah, part of that's still in good condition, and then some of it is bad condition, so, you know, it's kind of up to you guys what you guys want to do with it, but this panel box is really good in condition. Some uh, places you'll go into, wires are stripped out, but that's really good. This is the back door from what we said in the outside. I'm going to open it for you. See, that, that leads to the outside. So to get that boiler out, at least you got a back way you can go up those steps and get that boiler right on out of here if you want to, okay? So hopefully that helps. And then also, too, you can see the floor. Okay. All right, and there's a step set. Where are we coming from? Steps. A little room over there, as you can see. Windows, boom, there, there. Okay, cool. Shut this panel, shut this panel door, electrical panel door. Great, okay, cool. All right, let's shut this door. We're gonna get back upstairs. I'm just giving you guys a brief good idea how this looks, okay? Thought we was gonna get done in 20 minutes. Nah, that's not happening. <laughs> You guys probably looked on YouTube. I had a uh, duplex I actually had to show. That one, we was in uh, a little bit over 30 minutes on that one. So, <laughs> yeah, it was a duplex. I mean, multi-family, so. Versus this five-bedroom. It's a huge house, but it needs work. Like I said, 40 minimum, 70 to 80 if you want to go beautiful homes and gardens, right? You know, but it depends on your budget, you know. Are you going 100% Home Depot every day? And hiring guys at about a thousand to two thousand a week, or are you hiring guys at about fifty to hundred bucks a day, and spending half your material at Home Depot at Lowe's, and the rest of your material at Habitat for Humanity out of your garage or somewhere else? You know, it's up to you how you want to save money, budget money, or got money out of your garage. I don't know. Okay, so. Here's the stairs we just came up to. Now we're about to show you the four bedrooms up here. This is bedroom number one. And remember, you could take one of these bedrooms, add in a bath, turn one of these closets into a bathroom, a half bath at least. So this is bedroom one. Window one, window here, radiator. Floor base, ceiling. And two. to the backyard window. There's a bedroom too across from one. That's the closet. Right here, the floor. You guys got a general idea how bedroom two looks. There's a closet. They walk in. Okay, bedroom two, 
bathroom. Old school bathroom. Look at the old school tub. Toilet. Needs to be clean, replaced, gutted, however you guys want to do it. Little small medicine cabinet. But this is the bathtub. Toilet. Here's the sink. Well, ceiling. Lays up to the attic. See that right there? At least to the attic. Okay, cool. Hopefully that helps out a little bit. Narrow bath though. But it's a full bath. A full bath. Okay. Alright, that's the only bathroom in this particular house. And then here's the hallway and the closet. Cool closet. You know, put your towels and your personal hygiene in there. Okay. All right, we're in the hallway. Last two rooms. There we go. This is bedroom number three. Remember, these are all like walk-in closets, as you guys can see this. You can walk into these closets. You can make them out of half bathrooms, or you can just leave them as closets, however you want to do it. It's just kind of up to you. Or you can build a, build a closet in there, you know. Or you can combine the rooms. I mean, it just kind of depends what you're going to do with it, you know, for real. And obviously, like I tell people, you know, when you hold on to these properties, when you invest in these properties, personally, you know, if you're really uh, tight with money, I wouldn't just throw a whole 40 grand into it initially. No, what you do is you come one month, spend five. Next month, you want to put in another 10, 15. Next minute, you might want to put in two. It just depends on you, you know. You got to learn how to make your, make your penny stretch out here, you know. And also, too, like I said, again, depend on who you hiring or if you can do all this by yourself. You be, do all this by yourself, you a bad beast. I need to do business with you. <laughs> if you can do all this by yourself and get this done in about 90 days, no help at all, you a bad fool. I need to do business with you. <laughs> all right. That's bedroom three. This is bedroom four. This is the last bedroom before we go downstairs. But we all know in common sense, you're gonna need a crew to come up in here. Okay, see that? Right there, there. Last bedroom. Five bed, one bath house. All right. That leads to the side of the house. Look at the side, see that gutter coming down? That's where we was at earlier, remember that? That's where we was at. We was there, outside. And last but not least, closet. All right, that was from the boiler system downstairs years ago. A lot of this stuff will have to be removed initially. Remember these closets you can like literally walk into as you can look at the floor and look at the ceiling. You can see, remember there's lots of repairs that need to be done. So I hope you cash buyers, investors, flippers, buy and hold guys, or people who are just trying to buy it, rehab and live in it, got a really good general understanding of kind of like what you're getting yourself into you know remember this is a big family house right you can even rent out each of the rooms right after you deck this thing out man turn it to airbnb or just rent out each room you know or a lot of people like to do here in kansas city i just walked back into the other bedroom um they like to deck them out and then section eight rent them you can do that too and get you some good income coming in. Okay. So anyway, so bedroom one, two, bathroom, bedroom three, bedroom four. Okay, and then the fifth bedroom downstairs. Okay. I'm gonna head back downstairs so we can kind of conclude our film. So you can kind of understand on what's going on. 
okay? And it's bedroom five. That's the reason we call it a five bedroom, okay? Leading into that kitchen. And this leads back into the living room dining room, okay? Cool? All right. Let's wrap this thing up. Just gonna give you guys a general overview, okay? So again, remember this is a, like I said, five bedroom, one bath house. It's located on the Midtown area near Armour and Purcell. I'm just going back to the side of the house, you know. I thought this was important. I thought I'd kind of show you guys the electrical outside that needs to be done, that needs to be repaired. Okay. It just dawned on me, you know, some of the electricians and handyman plumbers and rehabbers, you know, I just kind of want to let you guys know and walk back to the lot. I like this lot. I do like it. So, yeah, hopefully it makes a good home for somebody, you know. Okay. A real good home. And you see all this on the side that needs to be repaired. So, yeah, you know, the gas meter. Okay. But anyway, um, so let me go ahead and give you guys this uh, review so we can get out of here. Okay. And I did. I think I did. Let me make sure I showed you guys how this looks. So when you guys are approaching the property, you know, this is the entrance, you know, this driveway here okay it's the entrance of that driveway okay anyways so let's do a review on this okay nearly in a half an hour on this thing okay so again so the address of this property is 3634 wayne this w-a-y-n-e kansas city missouri it's located in midtown near armor and Purcell. armor and Purcell boulevard okay um to make an offer right and I got the price and everything I just want to make this uh, offer friendly please uh, this video offer friendly I'm sorry uh, please give me a call at area code 816-606-0505 this area code 816-606-0505 just ask for Mr. GG all right and hey I got other properties also too I get all the time I get junkers and pieces of crap or, or houses is just in okay condition that just need a little bit of work you know so yeah but this is for cash buyers only there's no rent to own there's no payments this is not for rent this is for cash buyer investors only if you can give me a call area code 816-606-0505 this area code 816-606 zero five zero five thank you for watching the video please comment please like this thank you so much you guys have a good day good investing hopefully we can all do business together soon thank you